I know I'm about to get hardcore judged in the uh, comment section, but today I'm using the meta. The meta of all metas. The most overpowered setup of all time in Destiny. The Might of Multi-Tool, the Uriel's Gift, and the Sins of the Past. With my, of course, uh, Bottom Tree Voidwalker. I'm using Blink, I know bitch. Um, and Transversive Steps. Combined with Blink, I can get out of a lot of sticky situations. Now, I'm joking when I say Mida and Uriel's is OP. I don't think it ever was, not even close. Oh, <laughs> me and the teammate got the bystander effect. We both wanted to wait to see what the other person would do. Oh, that, they have Mida too? Here, stand in my rift, I got you. You got bolts, let's go. Uriel's time. Yes, we did it. What do you have? You have Snipe? I want him to pull Snipe. Sins of the Past is good, but I think a Snipe is going to net us more kills. And if he drops ammo near me, I'll just pick up a rocket. Tried to shoot that nade off the floor. Back it up, I got you. That's why we have fire that is why we have fire teams. We're a good team. Alright, here. Get it. Send in those uh, visual cues to my teammate. Longer range engagement. That calls for multi-tool. If that knife would have killed me, I would have quit right there. Ready to get out strafed. Was not expecting the blue alt. My aim was shit. I deserved to die. But I lived. He has ammo. Let's see what he has, though. I'm ready to jump and fake him out. I suck right there. I should have 180 looked the other direction, blinked, and then tried to shoot the colonies off the ground. Meanwhile, my teammate casually 1v2s. Here, I'll try the same. My turn. Don't use my melee. Got a waste of devour charge for the next round. And I have my rift back for the next round. And if I am almost two thirds to a super, my teammate is definitely close to his. He's been slaying out. Zephyrio. I don't know. Sounds like an Italian pro gamer. But the mama, I want to be a professional video game player. Don't make fun of my accent. Let's go push it to the limit, because we're in it to win it. Okay, he's bailing the pad. I got the cutoff. Teammate, just bait. I got juked. That melee I was not expecting. I thought he would go for a double melee like most noobs do. And I meleeed preemptively, which was a huge mistake. Cannot beat the Uriel's Gift. One minute. Well, that was pretty good bait there. You definitely have a Strider. You don't have to use it either, because we're in the lead. Just put in Suppressing Fire! And now let's kill the hunter. You've got 30 seconds. That's why we have fire team. Why again was this setup ever considered overpowered? I don't get it. I don't. I would much rather have a mini tool in like 99% of these scenarios. Or I would rather have an Antioch with Uriel's Gift, if I'm playing like this map, because Uriel's can touch most of the ranges that you're going to use. Now the difference is Mida does more damage per shot, or per peak. This round is yours. Yeah, Mida feels good. Still, I, I just never understood why this setup... 
I should probably save my Nova for the blade. Why this setup was so highly regarded in the community when there are so many adequate options, if not better options. Alright, he got both. I would like to take the power, if that's cool, for the commentary. Everyone wants to see how skilled I am with Sins of the Past. Like, look at this range with Uriel's Gift. That's just fine, even after the nurse. This man knows the meta. He's using Uriel's Gift, too. Give me the power. We got it. Let me go to the ammo. Sins of the Past time. Alright, jump, shoot, rocket, blink. Styled. One minute. Okay, cross map Nova over the stairs. Gonna blink and just toss it. Alright, a little short. But I had the right idea. I wish there was no radar so it would look even more impressive, because that was where they happened to spawn. Outstrafed. I'm gonna fight the next one even though I'm weak. I thought I could pull it off. Got too overzealous, but this is doubles. We have such a score lead that if worse comes to worse, we just run away. So it's a good opportunity to take some stupid fights just to see if I can get out of them. Just suppressing fire when my teammate pushes up. Gonna keep putting just a line of non-stop fire so if they repeat, they get hurt. They are split, so as long as we both push the same direction, we're gonna be fine. And it's already over, just like that. See, I'm telling you, this is an OP setup. That's why we won the game. It was just on the back of Maida and Uriel's. If I recall, I think the complaints were just like unbearable flinch from getting shot by these. Which I get, but then after the testing it showed that it wasn't as obnoxious as people were making it out to be. Like, Better Devils, in my opinion, flinches way harder than both of these combined. So I would rather not see a Better Devils and would rather see a Maida and a Uriels on most matches. I don't know, just my thoughts on the matter. Feel free to disagree in the comment section. But I don't think it's that strong of a setup, historically and in today's context. Grab Lance and V-Wing, definitely where it's at today. So uh, I guess I'll see you in a another commentary tomorrow. Maybe I'll use Grab Lance and V-Wing, just to, you know, compare what people thought was OP to what today is actually OP.